Hey everyone, how are you guys? Welcome back. I'm sitting out here in the back of my lanai getting ready to make my way to the office. It's been a very good long week since I've been gone. Thank you guys all for the birthday wishes. Um, <laughs> what meant to be a road trip to see the family um, extended to a week and I feel I've been gone way too long and there's so much I want to share with you guys along the way. Um, I know my daughter and I, Abby, we went to an estate sale, so we got a handful of cool items there. I wish I had some video footage on that, but it ended up, we we were like, it was five minutes before it was the close kind of estate sale. And actually, they were like pretty prompt. They're like, time to get out, even though, <laughs> come on now, there's shoppers in there, right? Why would you want us to leave? <clears throat> Probably because they had a crazy long day. Estate sales could be kind of nuts. Um, so I got some really cool stuff there. And then um, on my way down, I mean, I should say up north because I live in Florida and my family's up in Indiana. Um, I stopped at the Google Outlet. You guys know I absolutely love that thing. And I got to spend just a couple hours. I was hoping on the way back to stop by there again and uh, dig through the bins. But wait, you guys see what's in my trunk. I actually still have it all in the trunk. I haven't had a chance to get through it because, you know, my birthday, I got back home. And of course, when you get back home, the husband, the cat, everyone wants your attention. <laughs> so my week extended an extra few more days kind of thing. So I do apologize. And thank you guys for your patience for those who were trying to reach out to me and I was unavailable. But uh, those who were on the list, like if those who don't understand what the list is, before I left on a road trip, those who follow me on Facebook, on the Facebook group, if not, down below is the link, uh, join the Facebook group. Because pretty much in there and then Instagram, I usually post anything new or what's going on, um, surprises, things like that. Um, and it's a great place for you guys to share your products and uh, what you do as well as far as creative things that you do kind of thing. Um, that's pretty much what the Facebook group was pretty much all about kind of thing. <clears throat> as long as it's products that you make and not just someone else's products that you're selling kind of thing. Go ahead and share. Feel free to share away. Um, so in that post, one of the posts before I left, I had said, you know, go ahead, comment down below if what you want to be on the list. Like say, uh, say so-and-so wanted quilts or a certain person wanted vintage postcards, things like that. Well, um, I took that list with me. So when I found certain items, I got them. So those who have been waiting uh, for items on a list, I do, I think I hit most of them. Um, so I can't wait to reach out to you guys and share with you guys what I have. So those who are on a list, you get first pick before I do a live sale, before I even put them in the shop kind of thing. So if you ever want to be on a list looking for certain items, just message me. I could put you on a list for that. But um, it sure is good to be back. That's what I do know. Um, mind you, like I said, my trunk and my office is a wreck because between boxes um, <laughs> and everything from the travels on the way back. I sure wish I could have spent more time in uh, the Goodwill outlet there in Indianapolis, but I just ran out of time, you know. For me, from Florida going up to north to Indiana, it takes me a good 14 hour drive. And that is not stop. that's like, you keep going kind of thing. And so I visited the family and I wanted to spend as much time with them I was kind of felt torn and so when it's time to go back home I just kind of raced my way back home because there's so much I need to get done here and um, I have a lot of different things and projects I have put together already in order for you guys you know between daily deals and things like that so many things I want to share with you that I have in order and I just can't wait to bring them out to you guys um, so after this video I'm just gonna my daughter's just gonna kind of add other videos in with this video course there's the uh, <clears throat> the garbage man um, so um, after this just stay tuned because I'm gonna share with you guys you know some of the sneak peek items of what I did get um, at the estate sale at Goodwill outlet that kind of thing but um, I'm I would like to go live and uh, show you guys everything you know it's not necessarily a live sale but it's a great opportunity to like for instance get on the list for certain items that I'm showing because some of the items like for instance I got a whole lot of India uh, fabrics that are beaded and sequenced and stuff like that in yardage and I was gonna put together kits and stuff for what I did get there and um, so yeah you might want to join in the live all the information on the live and everything is at the end of this video so 
go ahead and see some of the things I did get um, and uh, you might be interested message down below or it uh, there's many ways to message me there's the down below in a comment board or uh, my Etsy shop or email my emails down there Facebook Messenger there's so many ways to get a hold of me if there's certain things that you say hey I can't live without if you see something in the video that's my job I'm here to help you guys out finding these cool things um, yeah, so I pretty much want to go do a live that is just to show you guys slowly the items that I have. I thought about doing a quick video and then glancing through and then doing a live sale, but why? When I can just get on live and slowly show you guys the items and if you want it, you can grab it then and there kind of thing. So it's an easy peasy, relaxed uh, way of doing it. So it is so good to be back. I miss you guys um, and just can't wait to share with you guys what's coming up here soon. There's so much I want to say, but... I'll just keep it and surprise you guys kind of thing. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I'm missing. Oh, thank you. Thank you guys for all the birthday wishes and the love and the surprises. My daughter did a lot of posting of surprising me for my birthday and the grand boys and all that. It was just kind of a wow birthday. And uh, I feel really blessed, really loved, and I can't thank you guys enough. So thank you without crying. <laughs> um, all right, guys. So stay tuned. So after this is going to show you sneak peeks, little bits and parts of videos that we kind of piece together to show you what we got. And I wish I had more video footage of actually being there, but oh well. I'll just make sure I do it next time. So all right, guys. Until next time, I'm going to get a quick close up because I have to figure out where the stop button is at. <laughs> all right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey everyone, how are you guys? I'm just now bringing in things from junk in my trunk. I'm just grabbing piles at a time and I figured I can kind of show you guys what I had uh, got uh, from some estate sales while I was away for a week, um, as well as uh, the Goodwill outlet. So I first thing I pulled out is some vintage fabrics. Obviously you can see here there's a lot of feed sack fabric along with vintage um, cotton blend fabric um, that is totally like 40s, 50s, uh, maybe some early earlier that I uh, have to go through yet far as um, getting it ready. Um, I do have for those who are on the list, for those who have been following along, those who are on the list who had items that they were looking for, um, I did uh, get a lot of the items for you guys. So um, I will message you obviously but I'm hoping to do a junk in my trunk sale like I do every time. And I just wanted to show you a sneak peek of some of the things that I do have. Um, I got this here, this big pile from an estate sale, um, and I grabbed it and I ran. <laughs> Those who know vintage feed sack fabric is really hard to come across. And when you do, it's so expensive. And so I was like, grab it, Selena, go. Um, some of these fabrics are just uh, cotton, vintage cotton fabrics, but all in all, uh, they're just beautiful. I mean, I have definitely fell in love with a lot of these prints. Uh, this is totally scrappy. This is definitely a cotton fabric right here, but still just gorgeous. You can't beat it. So what I'll do is I'll put them in packs for like a daily deal or for one of the lives, uh, live sales that I'll do. Um, but again, like I said, this is just a mixture of regular cotton vintage fabrics and feed sack fabrics. Here is more of a feed sack pieces. Looks like this person who at this estate cell that I went to with my daughter, Abby, um, they had, uh, they were making those, what do you call that? Yo-yos or, um, that's what that is. Yo-yos, I think. My brain is like in a blah. Here, it's in here somewhere. I noticed when I opened it up, there you go. They were making them. Again, sorry you guys for my boo-boo. Those who watched the uh, the video I did for the wax seals, I'm just trying to get that uh, glue gun thing to heal. Oh my goodness, that's the worst sore ever. I apologize. Uh, so yeah, that's what someone was making out of these beautiful fabrics. Adorable. Um, so again, this is vintage VIP fabric, which is uh, usually Cranston prints. But still, there is some beautiful feed sack pieces in here as well along with cotton. So I'm going to, when I label it, it's going to be vintage feed sack and cotton blends because some of them, uh, for those who know, there is a difference between feed sack fabric and just regular vintage cotton fabric. Feed sack fabric is a bit thicker, like a thicker woven feel. 
So that's a mixture of both in here between cotton. This is cotton, I think, right? Yeah, that's cotton. But still, it's beautiful. All the prints are absolutely gorgeous. This is inside out. I love that the person who uh, had these fabrics, a lot of them are inside out, like this one here. Again, I'm putting these into packs because um, I think it goes a long way. A lot of people can get a lot of prints, um, a variety pack. But look how beautiful that is, feed sack. It's just thick and gorgeous. Just beautiful. And she had turned inside out, which is the best way if you're going to store fabrics and they're quality vintage prints and or just regular quality modern day prints, turning them inside out when you store them will save on the, sorry, my camera, I have it in my hand and not on the stand. So I might be a little jiggly. It saves on the, um, the pattern quality, like for future, it doesn't fade. But look at this one, guys. Look how gorgeous that feed sack is. Beautiful. I got a good amount of that as well. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Again, she turned those inside out. I can't wait to see. This here is just like an upholstery fabric. But still, it's totally got the mid-century look. I'll throw that in there. There's this one. You guys see how thick it is? All right. Let's see what we got here. Hang on here. I'm going to flip it open one-handedly, guys. Make you a little dizzy here a sec. There you go. How pretty, not pretty. And then here's this one. I'll check for staining and stuff like that. Look how thick, I'm loving it. I'll check for staining and stuff. See, you would think I'd put my thing in a stand so you guys can see this. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy, thanks for being patient with me, guys. Usually when I do a junk in my trunk video, I just open up my trunk kind of thing. Well, I've been going back and forth and I had this on the counter and I thought I'd do this first. But look how pretty. And this one's inside out as well. And this is a whole bunch. I noticed that the, um, the border of some of it is lightly aged on how she stored it. But other than that, gorgeous. You guys know I love my fabrics. This is just a cotton fabric, which is still gorgeous, isn't it, guys? A whole bunch of it, too. And this one here at the bottom. Looking forward to opening that one up as well. Again, doing this one-handedly uh, so I don't make you dizzy. Here's some postcards I came across at an estate sale. A ton of these 1800s and early 1900 postcards that are just gorgeous um, that I've been working on. Either doing it for the live sale, I'm thinking about doing it for the daily deal, which will be up, I think, tomorrow, guys. So you guys want to check that out. I think I'm randomly going to do like five of these, and they're all beautiful. They're all, like I said, the floral, Victorian kind of thing, and stamped the whole pack. Not one is disappointing at all. Just totally Victorian. No, I don't have nothing modern in here. All the oldies, which you guys know I absolutely love. All right, let me go run to my trunk, guys, and let's go check that out really quick. Okay, <laughs> this will work. I accidentally hit the wrong button for the junk in my trunk video, um, and my daughter had to piece this video up, so thank you, Holly. All right, as you can see, I did score really big on the India fabrics. I got them in yardage. Um, looks like uh, wherever, um, when I was in the bins at Goodwill Outlet, they had like a whole pile. This whole thing is nothing but India fabrics, um, the wraps or what have you, but look at this. I'm hoping I'm not making you guys too dizzy. I apologize if I am. Look at it. So I will definitely have either like a daily deal with um, the India fabrics, but look how beautiful the works. I mean, again, like I said, in yardage, it's just gorgeous. I've never had, I've had outfits, but never had yardage of, you know, like the fabrics and uh, the brocades and the beaded sequence pieces. Um, this is a first, so it's definitely like heavy. Um, so thank goodness for the Goodwill outlet, I'm telling you that. And uh, look at it, just beautiful. So I'll definitely be doing packs of that. Look at there. Uh, for the chunk in the trunk, say the beaded boho packs kind of thing. But I'm serious, look at my whole trunk is filled with India fabrics. Um, 
Thank goodness for the person who decided to donate to those to the Goodwill outlet. <laughs> so ooh, I have more fabrics. Of course, that's the name of my shop, but more fabrics. Tons of fabrics going on in here. Got some wool and things. I have books. Um, goodness, people. I have more books down here. I definitely have like some Christmas. Don't worry about the color in the background. Some old books, music books, um, things like that. Car go by. That was local FedEx. I was hoping it was going to be another. Oh, cool beans. Look at here. Got some Grand Ole Opry at home. I got the grammar books. Oh, Julie Everage. I know she wanted some garden journal, binder journals. So I know I got that. I got a few more. Some more. I know I have a, there's another garden journal back there. But yes, I have a lot of people who had things on a list. Here goes that truck again. We press you guys on pause. Okay, I swear, I think they come around whenever I'm uh, not needing them to. Okay, so I got some nice Hansel and Gretel. This is an old coloring book. It's really cool. Um, some Ram McNally children's books. I think I got a lot of music books, music composer type books. I got one of those singer, again, I got a whole singer journals binder journal things um yeah so there's much more it's just a matter of finding it um and organizing it i came across look at this really cool roll of wrapping paper it's really big and it, it reminds me of like when i do my traveling journal kind of stuff really really cool so there's that um i have much more let me go check the garage really quick Okay, in the garage here, my parents, they had dropped off a bunch of fabrics and stuff for me as well. Some beautiful old stuff here um, that I'm not used to getting um, often. But look at that beautiful yardage. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think that might be a chintz fabric. Not as crazy shiny as some chintz, but it's a nice, thick cotton um, fabric that is beautiful yardage. Totally Victorian-ish. that gorgeous? Oh, look at here. Okay, speaking of feed sack fabric, here we go. Look at that. And I have yardage of that beautiful fabric. Gorgeous. Uh, my mouth just watered. Again, it's just a bunch of beautiful fabrics that I did get. This is turned inside out. Absolutely love it. Totally mid-century. Oh, look at here. Almost like a chenille fabric. You guys see that really thick. I have never seen that before. Can you guys see that where it's raised? Raised flowers. Reminds me sort of the thickness of an upholstery fabric, but absolutely gorgeous and in yardage. Um, it's my first time digging through here to see what we have. Um, I've got boxes going on here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> How exciting. Look at that feed sack fabric. Have I scored or have I scored? Wow, and I got yardage, nice and thick. Oh my gosh. Beautiful, guys. Oh my goodness. What else I have in here? It's some more. It's a solid feed sack. Look how beautiful. That is beautiful. This is like, sort of like a greenish color. Ooh. Check that name out. Is it a French fabric? I'm gonna have to look that up. Look at that. Oh, and it's definitely thick. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's definitely a one I need to check out. Oh my goodness. Yeah, my parents did put, oh my gosh. Look at that. Looks like someone Okay, I have to look up the name on that. That is like a thick feed sack, beautiful modern print. Well, it's vintage for sure, but I've got some more chintz fabrics. Oh, more feed sack. Oh my gosh. Look at this beautiful brown feed sack. Look how thick. Oh my gosh. I got girls. We got feed sack. 
Um, some look at that burlap painted. Some kind of burlap that is. I'm not sure. I'll check it out. This. Ooh, ooh. Okay. This is a woven tribal piece. I don't know if that's a runner. Looks like it. Oh my gosh. I have to check that one out too. That one is woven. It looks like it might have had the tassels at the end, but it looks like they're tied off. Like I'm not finished or they finished it that way. Okay. Oh my goodness. So it's just velvet. Oh gosh. Vintage velvet. Oh wow. Now that is beautiful. Oh, I'm going to put that in the Christmas kits guys. Okay. Oh, my legs are sorry. Look at that plush, and it's the plush velvet. You guys, oh my gosh. Into the Christmas, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, and more feed sack and yardage. Oh wow. Oh wait, wait, this is upholstery, I think. Felt like feed sack. I have to check the name, although it feels like it's kind of more Jersey-ish than a feed sack. I have to check that out. It looks like it's not, I don't think it's upholstery. But, oh my goodness, beautiful. Some woven fabric. Look at that. Okay, and more. So, I definitely have so much more to share with you guys. This is the bed sheets. Again, I had to message my, my parents. They did drop this off for me. I have this. I am not too sure what it is. It's, it is all complete. It's stapled on. It's really a thick burlap big huge roll of it what is that for I'm not sure a cool wool blanket look like it's tacked got some fabrics and ooh, another Indian woven ooh blanket yes I absolutely love them and it's an oldie too and it's woven those are the ones we absolutely love oh I can't wait to open that one up okay so, oh, and more velvets. Oh, scrap velvets. Oh, look at the beautiful velvets, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love surprises. See, I didn't get these things. Look at the suede, suede fabric. Oh, a whole bunch of it. Hang on here. Oh, the box is gonna fall over, guys. Oh goodness, sorry. <laughs> I'm such a nut. Okay, at the bottom here, Hopefully, I'm not making you too dizzy. Look at that beautiful suede. Like a chenille suede, suede fabric. I gotta look that one up. That is beautiful. Okay. I think I made a mess. And <laughs> it's fallen down. And uh, I got more boxes here. It's like a surprise. Oh, goodness. This one has to be tied down. What else we got? I know my parents had a bunch of kits and stuff. Zippers. Ooh. Ooh. That is pretty. Ooh, we got some brocades. Look at that beautiful brocade. Like a blue and silver. Ooh. Got some remnants of some silk fabrics. Asian or Japanese. Ooh, look at there. It's inside out. Look at that. Oh, wow. Beautiful. And then more. Oh, look at you guys. And more. Oh, wow. I think we're going to have to do like fabric packs of this. It's like scrap fabric pieces, different colors, and these are vintage. These are not like newer type of silks for like the Asian or um, brocades. I don't want to say oriental because I know a lot of people get offended with that, the history of it, but look at all the scraps of it. I don't know if it's the same pattern or, or what, like someone had cut it Interesting, but we definitely could do packs of that. I could put in some brocades. Look at the beautiful silks and brocades in with that. Make them their own pack, and then we can have a boho pack, guys. For sure. More fabrics, and then I know in this bag here somewhere. I know she had some 
do-it-yourself kits or something. Sorry if I'm making you busy. Yeah, some cross stitch. Ooh, look at those beautiful spools. That is Empco. How cool. I have to check the, the quality of the thread. Pull it apart and see if it works good. Looks like we got hankies. More do-it-yourself kits. Oh goodness, more of those awesome threads. And I'm not sure what this is. Woo, we got some wooden spools in there. All right, so I got much more stuff, guys. I know uh, I will go, oh, look at, oh my gosh. Well, we'll be selling wooden spools as well. All right, I think I've made a mess. <laughs> I have to organize and go through this. I hope this was kind of helpful for you guys. I can't wait to put some stuff together. And um, again, for those who are on the list, I do have you uh, your items that you're looking for. Oh my goodness. Love velvet. Um, and uh, so yeah, so I'll get, we'll message each other back and forth and go from there. Curious about that fabric to see if it's the same pattern. Either way, could you guys imagine a nice pack of that? If there's anything here you see that you guys are saying I can't live without and I need it now, just message me. I'll do the best I can to uh, accommodate. And uh, oh, how cool. How cute. I love surprises like this. So hey guys, I'm excited. I can't wait to put this all together for you guys. Thank you for your patience and hopefully I didn't make you too dizzy. All right, bye.